Um, hmm. Welcome to the Savor the Burn Podcast. My name is Jonathan. Mr. W2 is over here. I'm hesitant to ask. How do you do, sir? We had a mishap. It you know, mishaps happen. It's fine. You know, and then and then on top of that, the wine didn't pour quite right. It might be the choice of wine. May I pause you right there? He's let's, pausing me. Let's just cheer, sir. Let's well, take a drink of this ugly yeah. contraption and We'll go from there. It's not that ugly. It tastes great. <laughs> mm. That's a decent froth on the top from the egg. It's good. It is a great it's cocktail. Good. It's good, dude. It looks ugly as hell. That's all right. I'm, I'm so I'm so irritated. So, you so can taste all of it. You can taste the bourbon, the lemon, yeah. the 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 sweetness of the of the demerara syrup in there. You got the wine. You can taste the wine. So, like we mentioned in the last episode. Uh, we made a New York sour. Yeah. Uh, New York sour is a whiskey sour mm -hmm. with a little bit of red wine floated on top. And my float did not float. It sank straight to the yep. bottom. For whatever reason, it's kind of weird, but... Eh, and fine. yeah, so it's... I'm going to practice on this one a little bit more because I'm, I'm, I'm determined I, I am going to get a, a... I've wanted to make this one for a long time now. Yeah. It's a beautiful cocktail. A lot of these cocktails, I'll I'll do a dry run and I'll go through it. I did not do that on this one. I'm like, you know, this is going to be easy. Yes, there's something new to it. We're we're floating some red wine 
on there. I watched a few videos to see if I could pick up some tricks and mm -hmm. and best practices. And they said and, go slow. Well, and one of them that I watched today recommended putting the pour spout on there to help control it mm -hmm. because then you know the pour spouts like this have a little air vent on the back side of it okay so they suggest you know doing the pour spout to control it and then put your thumb over the hole I it was coming out super slow and i would i poured it yeah it, i poured it very slow off the back side of a spoon mm -hmm. that was actually touching the uh the 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 frost on uh, froth on the top of the cocktail so that it was not dipping down into it but for whatever reason, it just it still sank to the bottom. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and I did I did a dry shake first, which is supposed to help frost it. Yep. But unfortunately, my shaker, uh, which is not screwed together, or it, it presses shut. It or or it, it presses shut. Um, <laughs> and I, we've done we've used. I mean, this God help you if you use that Boston one, the one with the two cups, just kind of sit together. I mean that one. It does sit together, but but I, I've gotten comfortable enough with it. It locks together. Mm. I picked this one because I, I thought with the integrated uh, strainer on the top of it, it would, it would make it easier. Mm -hmm. And we've done the egg whites before. I knew that on that shaker, I have to hold on to it because mm -hmm. the, the pressure that builds up from the egg wants it to pop. So I was holding on to it. I was not expecting it to pop as much as it did yeah it, it, it did it popped and they've exploded all over me oh, all sure. over the barrels the floor the everything iPad. yeah so anyway all that to say um i also read too that for floating your uh wine on top you pour slow but you should wait a little bit for that head that froth to kind of settle and firm up a little bit and then you you slowly added on top of there i don't know if i just i went too quickly or because of the mishap i didn't really give it as long a, of a thorough shake to cool it down uh to a cooler temperature or what the deal is but anyway my the wine did not float on top like it's supposed to it didn't it kind of sank to the bottom and i thought maybe if it were if it were warmer it would have you know hot air rises why wouldn't warm wine like room temperature wine maybe that has nothing to do with it maybe it has to do with the uh, viscosity the specific de density of of the thing or whatever but i don't know it's uh from the smell of the wine it was really good uh from uh, the taste of it that you could taste in this cocktail mm -hmm. it's also really good so it it turns it like a, a deep a deep uh i don't know date or, or prune kind of color on the cocktail but i ain't mad at it dude and i use this uh this vampire cabernet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they are looking for investors to go to vampire.com or whatever it is what is their website uh it says it down here in the red i think yeah i don't have my readers on i think it's down here in the red what do we got here oh vampirevineyards.com they are looking for advent, uh, investors, and I think it was like 250 bucks. That's like their base entry level investment thing. You can check it out. But we're not here to talk about vampire wines. We're here to talk about this here cocktail featuring the Four Roses single. No wait, small batch. Small batch select. Select, not single barrel. I got myself twisted when I was reading the comments in the uh, the whiskey. <laughs> uh, the Kansas City. What is it? Whiskey. Whiskey and bourbon. And bourbon club I don't think I've ever been as frazzled as I am on, on a on a cocktail like are this are you one. still frazzled I am still frazzled still yeah. frazzled all right all right I mean this is way better than that peanut butter and jelly cocktail dude yeah right the peanut butter that and just, jelly cocktail it looked that one just good. tasted bad but it yeah it, it looked all right this one here like if you if you go looking at this versus that doesn't look quite right <clears throat> i need to do a field trip i need to i need to go somewhere uh one of our 
high-end cocktail bars in town, maybe down the uh, Electric Park down at Rieger's mm-hmm. or Swordfish Tom's or Swordfish Tom's or I've Jurassic heard, Measures. I've heard great things. You have a friend that has an in with the Swordfish Tom's yep, people. Yep. And say, I want a New York sour. Show me how to float that wine yeah. properly. Because clearly there there's definitely a skill involved in there that I'm missing but in translation. But it tastes great. And it tastes really good. Yeah, the the taste makes up for it. The it, lemon, the 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 Demerar rich syrup, mm-hmm. um, and then a little bit of that that fruity red wine. Um, does it, yeah. does it say on here? I mean, typ- cabs are typically a medium dry, medium sweet wine. Yeah, yeah what matter. I can taste off of it from the right. from the cocktail here, it's definitely a, a medium sweet here. It says a uh, full bot Cabernet. How do you pronounce it? Sauvignon. Yep. Sauvignon. Uh, <laughs> it says uh, full bodied with blackberry and dark cherry aromas, and just the right amount of oak flavors leads to a lingering finish. Sip the blood of the vine. Since 1988, I remember that year. Uh, we've been making our fine wines available to the outside world. Now you can read about our origins in the sensational new novel, What? A Walk in the Sun by Lisa Dominique Machat. Machat. M A C H A T. Send your hate mail to Jonathan at savertheburn.com. Uh, it says here, quote, uh, Like vampire wine, I drank his blood, full-bodied and powerful. Just as the moon controls the sea, the claret of life controlled my body, end quote. Vampire. Have you ever read uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula? Oh, yeah. I like it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like it. Uh, what about the movie? You know, Stoker's Dracula. Dracula. I'm sure the, I'm saying Dracula. I'm sure those Dracula. out there will hate on it. The movie, but I love. I, I I thought it was I thought it was well done. I did too. I did too. Uh, Jennifer thought so. I put it on a few months ago, and Jennifer thought I was watching a comedy. Is that done by Francis Ford Coppola, or is it? I don't know who Oliver directed Stone. it. I don't know who directed it. Okay. I remember there was. Uh, but it's got it's got Keanu Reeves in it. Yeah, it's Keanu got Reeves. Um, Anthony Hopkins. Mm-hmm. Um, Gary Oldman as Dracula. Yep. Yep. Uh, he did. A Winona great. Ryder. When I. Yep. I will never stop loving Winona Ryder. I don't care if she was caught shoplifting. We're gonna make it through this, <laughs> you and me, because <laughs> I love you. And who played her? Uh, her friend. Uh, Lucy. Oh, that redhead chick. So oftentimes we have a division between redheads. There's the hot ones and the the other ones. So yeah, her friend Lucy in the in the in the in the movie was a smoke show. But we're not here to talk about Dracula. We're here to talk about this cocktail that you've already fucking finished. As much shit as you talked on yourself <laughs> and the presentation or how it didn't work out so well, you took. Uh- you took I, care of it, dude. I was tired of looking at it. I just need to get Come it. Come on. Tell me it's not a good tasting cocktail. That's a fantastic tasting cocktail. Praxmix perfect. I'm gonna uh this was this was a great cocktail. I'm mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. I'm not satisfied with myself. So. I can taste I can taste the whiskey sour. Like first and foremost, uh, for me it tastes just like a whiskey sour. The addition of the wine is another fucking level. And I think that the the choice 100%. of wine makes it or or could potentially break it. I think I want to make another one of these, mm-hmm. but I also think I want to. I, I feel like, as much as I liked the palette on this, mm-hmm. I feel like the spirit might have gotten lost by a hair because of the sour. It did, and the the wine. Uh, yeah. So two should become two and a half. Okay. Okay, yeah, it, it it just it doesn't say how much. Oh, it says half ounce red wine. It does. Things to think about. It's all good. Perfect. 
Even so, if the cocktail doesn't turn out looking perfect, you got a uh, bitters. Uh, what bitters you got, Dan? I got every bitters you can think yeah. of. All right, so we've we've got lemon, we've got sweetness left over, we got uh, we got the we got that maybe a, a touch of the wine. What bitters would go good with this? Walnut. That's a chocolate. Black walnut. Mm -hmm. Let's do the black walnut. Give ourselves uh, two dashes of the black walnut. Boom. Perfect. Look at that. Shaken, not stirred. So this will be. That smells amazing. This will be kind of like a sour old fashioned. I don't know. I don't know what this is going to be. Cheers, sir. It was a little, a little bitter is heavy. It's only 104 proof, folks. What this big deal? Said Chikatillo. Now, nah, cheers. Mmm. Mm hmm. That's getting there. Them a rubber rubber. <laughs> Don't touch that dial. <laughs> Who was it that used to walk in the room? And like they would sit on the chair backwards every time they came into the frame. Was on like a sitcom? The Fonz? A series? The Fonz? Dude. Oh, it was Riker from Star Trek Next Generations. You ever, you, you, were you a Trekkie at all? Oh, absolutely. All right, so Riker, number one, I command you to take a number two. So, number one, <laughs> <laughs> Will Riker, he would, um, he'd always come. He'd always come over, like, over the back of a chair. He'd fucking lift his leg up and land on it and sit down. What's going on, fellas? And play with his magnificent beard. Or he'd just sit backwards short, on it. Short little beard. Yes. Yes. Fucking Bob Seger. <laughs> Smells good. It needed a little sweetness. I don't know, man. You can't go wrong with that. That That's fan-fucking-tastic. See? <laughs> All it takes, if you don't like your whiskey neat, if you know what you're doing, all it takes is a little bit of know-how. And how do you get that know-how? You go to savortheburn.com. You check out the liquor cabinet. <clears throat> you check out all the recipes you, that, that are available mm -hmm. to you. I'm hoping at this point in this bonus, I've already redone this cocktail mm -hmm. and Snuck tried it, in it a there. couple times. And at this point, now, you're seeing uh -huh. what this cocktail is supposed to look like. Might need to use the other bottle because that one's starting to. For your practice runs, I might leave this bottle here with you. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. There's a way to figure it out. And I'm sure uh, Wizard Fingers W2 is going to figure that shit out. So. Thank you for tuning into this uh, interesting bonus episode of the Save the Burn podcast. Again, my name is Jonathan. This is Mr. Hey, w you know what? Uh oh, here we go. We are we are beyond a year into this. We are, and we're just now getting hiccups in our cocktails. Yeah, this is hiccup number one. That's kind of yeah a win. Mm hmm. Would you call that a win? I would. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't have any, I don't have any complaints. Like if I, if I compared, it was a great if, cocktail. If I compared what, uh, what you made versus what was on the, give me a blindfold. That was a great cocktail. <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was good. I liked it. Quit your bitching. Make yourself one. Enjoy it. You like, you like whiskey sours? Make yourself a whiskey sour. Use a small batch or small batch select. Can't uh, go wrong. 
throw in a little bit of wine. It doesn't have to be vampire Cabernet Sauvignon, whatever. See if you can get it to float. If you can get it to float, send us a picture. W2 at SaveTheBird.com because I don't need to see it. He needs to see it. He needs to feel bad about himself. <laughs> and uh, before Ozzy gets to us and starts yelling at us, thank you for watching this bonus episode of the Savor the Burn podcast. We really hope you enjoyed it. Um, uh, be sure to uh, click subscribe and uh, hit that bell not notification and uh, stay up to date on all things Savor the Burn. Uh, check out SaverTheBurn.com. Uh, check out the liquor cabinet where you will find both of these bottles. You will find um, the cocktail in the cocktails tab mm -hmm. and um hopefully it'll be a new picture by then <laughs> we'll see we'll see it will be so uh also uh, one thing i haven't mentioned in a while go to savertheburn.com and check out the shop uh we've got t-shirts uh we've got a uh, patreon mm -hmm. we've got uh uh lots of uh, uh amazon affiliate links where you can get cool glasses like this um do you have the the skull I don't. Bottles? Okay. I need to look that up and maybe add that. Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe. You can find that uh, that cocktail kit that we gave away mm -hmm. at one point. And uh, so much more. There, there's so much more. These bitters uh, that we used today in the... in the Fee Brothers. In the after party. Um, he's, got a, he's got a whole collection of them over here. It's a... It's it's wild to me how many different flavors they have. What did they got like? And they're all different. I mean, they got that's... one with cardamom or something. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there's orange. There's cherry. Uh, the original Angostura. I've got a Turkish tobacco. Turkish fucking tobacco. That one is amazing what? as an old fashioned. Yeah, and uh, so different. Do you have the fee foam? I do. Okay, and the fee foam's on there. Uh, that's used as an egg substitute. Mm -hmm. So if you're not cool with using raw egg white, um, you can absolutely just use that uh, that fee foam, you know, yep. substitute. And what that does is just, I mean, you can't see it now, but you saw it earlier how there was a little bit of a foam up here at the top. That's what the fee foam is supposed to do. We've not had really good results with that stuff, though. So maybe you have to use more than we use it. Um, and maybe you need to use a dry shake like we maybe. like like you do with the egg white yeah. uh, to make it work. I don't know. I'm sure there's a there's a there's a method to that madness. And if you know it, please uh, mm -hmm. let us know in the comments. But uh, thank you uh, for checking out the uh, Savor the Burn podcast once again, one last time. My name's Jonathan. This is Mister W Two. And uh, no matter what you're drinking, how it turns out. Um, how your experiment fails or succeeds, it doesn't matter. Uh, where you're drinking it and who you're drinking it with, never forget. Keep, Keep on, on burning. burning.